What's up guys, it's Crash, and today is another video that I can't really believe I'm making. Uh, apparently the kick feature is too toxic for us to use, but DICE is allowed and able and excited to use it on a longtime positive creator in the community to kick them out of the EA network. And you guys have probably heard by now that Ghost Gaming was kicked out of the EA creator network for, in my opinion, uh, clarifying some news and fixing an issue uh, with DICE's announcement. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into that just to let you guys know uh, this is extremely upsetting to me. Um, I've personally DM'd with uh, Ghost a couple times and he's just an incredibly good dude. Like from, from everything that I've dealt with him and from looking at everything in his videos, his his channel is incredibly positive. He's covered, like he said in his tweet, he's covered the Battlefield franchise for, for 10 plus years. And uh, to get treated like this, um, it just shows incredible poor taste and pettiness from DICE. And uh, if some of the things are true after that, that we'll get into about why he was actually banned, um <laughs> wow wow talk about petty so let's uh let's go ahead and try to get into exactly what happened and why it's going on and then i'll kind of get my thoughts on it and uh yeah it's it's incredibly frustrating and uh and sad to see so the first thing if you guys know just a quick recap of what happened when they announced that we had the squad system coming there was a lot of confusion because of a couple frames within there showed the kick and ban feature and i made a video right after the fact because i watched the video through i made a video saying you know how ridiculous it is that many of the squad features that we've had for a really long time you can't even use the kick and ban system um you know if somebody is not playing well or if you want to lock your squad or if you just you know if you just want friends to join whenever they can get on now there is some kind of uh feature where you have to reserve a slot but it's only temporary and then randos can join your squad again so it was a little bit frustrating but there was these 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 few frames uh within there that showed uh, a kick and ban system from the squad and everybody was kind of going back and forth on it like what happened like is this supposed to be in the game is that a glitch or whatever well then uh ghost gaming uh, got an answer from stratford the community manager at dice talking about how that was a bug there will be no kick and ban option there's a reservation system that allows friends to join your squad for a short period if you create to ensure that you can play together. I understand some folks want kick ban, but for Battlefield 2042, we feel it does not promote healthy PTFO behavior. If you just kick or ban folks from your squad instead of trying to help each other out, they basically don't want people's feelings to get hurt with kick and ban. They think they think it's less toxic if you keep people together on a squad that don't want to play together. That totally makes sense. So if you're in a squad and, and then Ghost Gaming went on to talk about it, and I saw one of his videos where uh, he gave some incredibly constructive criticism about it. He gave some really, really uh, meaningful and uh, like just thought provoking examples of why you would want this system. He gave he gave the example of, you know, if you if you come across someone who's a really good gunner and you guys want to run vehicles together, uh, you could just hop in a squad, lock it. One of you could get in a vehicle and the other one can join right away. Well, now where you're unable to lock your squad or kick people out of it, only have friends join, you can't just uh have a squad that you make with people you meet in game somebody else could you could you know get that seat or you could reserve that vehicle and then a rando could hop in and take the gunner instead of the new person you just met i mean there's lots of situations where you know if you have a team member that's not playing the objective just sniping in the clear back of the map or sitting up on a hill in the tank lobbing shells down onto an objective and you don't want them to be on your squad because they're not working together too bad you can't kick him you have to go start a new squad and hope the next randoms uh that you get are okay again this thing this there, there's a whole laundry list of issues but if we look at what everybody's talking about with this week with enders getting banned and i feel like you could kind of make a case some people could make a case for enders getting getting suspended but for ghost gaming to get kicked out of the ea creator network for providing that information that clarification um is just incredibly distasteful i also want to point battlefield back to i want ea dice i want to remind them i want to remind them of some things that they said they said that they are open to constructive feedback and criticism about our games. So if this is anything beyond Ghost Gaming accidentally leaking something that's incredibly harmless, if he leaked, and that's a hard and fast rule of the EA Creator Network Discord to leak this, I guess I should preface this with this information that Ghost Gaming uh, brought out was actually from uh, the EA Creator Network Discord, which is allegedly known by everyone to be private. However, in my opinion, <laughs> this leak 
let's call it a quote unquote leak, is just clarification of an issue with DICE's announcement. There were a couple frames in DICE's announcement where there were a kick and ban feature that are not coming to the game. So there was a lot of confusion. And Ghost Gaming, if we look at his YouTube channel, what does he do? He's a news channel. He brings people the news for a, for a decade about the Battlefield franchise. He stuck with the franchise through thick and thin. 99% of his videos are positive, and I would even argue they are 100% positive because when the man gives constructive criticism, he does it incredibly respectfully, and he comes from a place of wanting to help the franchise. So you have someone who's put 10 years of hard work into this franchise, and for one slight misstep technically by rules, they're gonna kick him out of the EA Creator Network, which we'll get into in a little bit. But when someone gives the news and when someone does it professionally, like Ghost Gaming, what do you do when you find out about it? You cite your source. So essentially, Ghost couldn't go on Twitter and say, hey, there's gonna be no kick and ban and just leave it at that. Since there was that controversy with their announcement, there were those few frames, he has to do his due diligence and cite his source like a like a news outlet does like someone who reports on things and he reports on this game so instead of just saying you know stratford clarified in the community discord he did a quick copy paste you hear it from the horse's mouth there you go and everyone including me no one thought this was a leak right if there's a battlefield leak including myself like oh we got to make a video about the new leak talking about what could potentially come to the game no one even thought this was a leak. This didn't cause any issues. Everyone thought it was on the public discord or a DM and everything was getting clarified. Exactly what Ghost has done for the community for a really long time. Got to the bottom of it, clarified the issue, fixed the problem with DICE's announcement, and then we move on. Well, apparently there is a hard and fast rule that no one is immune to. Like I said before, we don't get a kick and ban feature, but apparently DICE does uh, when it comes to their positive creators that are trying to help the franchise after all these years. So Ghost says, after 10 years of creating videos on the Battlefield franchise, I've just been kicked from, EA, from the EA Creator Network for leaking this absolutely shocking statement that tells us nothing more than the reason behind what we already know. Had this been a leak, about something coming to the game, maybe a season six or some content in season five that's not out yet. I get it, right? You can't be doing that. And he never has. There is absolutely zero, zero instances of sensitive information in this message. The other side of it, I totally get you guys who are saying, well, there's a rule. You just can't post things from the EA Creator Network Discord. You can't do that. There is such a thing in life called professional courtesy. And when someone has done positive work for your franchise for an incredibly long time, there is no hard and fast rule. It, it probably says you can't do that, but it might not say this is a bannable offense or what is the punishment for this. And professional courtesy comes into play here. You can, you can look at this man's body of work, his part in the community, being a pillar of the Battlefield community for a long time, and it is obvious that this man deserves professional courtesy. A much more prudent, punishment for this crime would be to say, hey, could you please take that down? We do not post stuff like that. No harm was done to the franchise. No sensitive information was leaked. Ghost learned his lesson not to post that stuff and we move on with our lives and everything is fine. Ghost continues to do what he does, bring everyone the news in a positive light with a mild dash of constructive criticism and everything is fine. Instead of kicking someone from the EA Creator Network who was stuck by your side through thick and thin. And some of the reasons that this feels horrible to me is that DICE and EA continuously ask for second, third, fourth, fifth chances with the franchise. When they mess up and they're bringing things like this from, from games that have been around for a long time, they're just now bringing the squad system in. They talked about how they understand, Vince Ampel talked about and others talked about how Battlefield 2042 missed and it's not what we all expected. And they asked for a second chance from the community to rebuild the game. DICE themselves consistently ask for do-overs, for new chances. And they're not even giving one of their most valued content creators that courtesy. They're not giving him a single second chance when he has given them so many, he doesn't get it in return. And it's just ironic to me that the DICE developers and everyone put out this statement, this statement over here, that they wanna be treated with respect and kindness and they won't even, they won't even reciprocate that uh, to their creators. It, it's just mind blowing to me. <laughs> and they talk about, it, it's just, it is incredibly ironic that they talk about a team setting and a team game and that it's too toxic to kick people from a team. 
and then they're doing it to one of theirs in actual real life, not even in game, kicking him out of the EA Creator Network for such a silly reason. And it's just a really bad look for Dice. It, it feels like it feels like there's more to it than just this post. Um, it feels like there's other reasons that they kicked him out. And what this does is it just for me at least it puts Dice in even like more like it goes to show that they're even more gaslighting the community into expecting these things when when ghost has said you know i wish this would have came out earlier i wish this would have been at launch it continues to show that dice is serious about gaslighting the community into thinking stuff that should have been there at launch is content that comes down the road that we should be excited for that that fixing the game that that reworking and finishing out the map should be new content that we should get excited for it just shows that they're gaslighting it shows it, it gives them a bad look that they're incredibly controlling unforgiving and they just have to have the narrative go their way they're trying to control what people are saying control people in the ea creator network which is something that i used to aspire to be one day i like i thought it'd be so cool to be in the ea creator network and work with some of those folks over there that make insane content and uh be able to bring you guys the news from an inside and i thought that would be so cool but now I i'm thankful that that i was never asked or i'm not a content creator of that caliber like that i don't deserve to be in such a network because if this is how you treat your creators i am thankful that i was never accepted into the ea creator network i know i say too many things i'm too honest that i would never be a part of that and that is the vibe that this gives everybody if you want to speak your truth if you want to be honest with the battlefield franchise and how you think it can make better well then there is no place for you in the EA Creator Network because you have to say and do exactly what DICE and EA want you to say. And it just it's just a really, really slimy feeling. The other thing, if we go a little bit farther, I'm gonna get into a little bit tinfoil hat and alleged stuff because uh, this was also an Ender's video and I've heard this from a couple different creators that apparently afterwards, Ghost DM Stratford and the reason he was kicked was because he quote unquote, ruined an entire month of goodwill from the community. How petty are you that, that you have to have goodwill from the community on Twitter. The amount of manipulation by DICE is crazy. This is this person's opinion, Sufficient Ice 5739. Uh, they did it for Battlefront 2. They did it for Battlefield V. They're doing it for Battlefield 2042. Anyway, allegedly in his, and we're going to get some more clarification from Ghost uh, pretty soon that apparently he DM'd and apologized and they said you ruined an entire month of goodwill from the community. And essentially, I think where the goodwill like, is leaving is that DICE decided not to put core features in squad management system. It's not what Ghost did. It has nothing to do. He literally clarified a statement that you guys had a mistake in. You had a mistake of a few frames that showed a, showed a feature that's not coming to the game. Ghost clarified it, and that ruined a month of goodwill from the community. You're so desperate for people's approval that you're willing to, to mess with one man's livelihood. That is so petty and sad. And again, I'm thankful that I, I never made it into the EA Creator Network. So, so what can we do about this? I would say, guys, I really think that we need to support Ghost Gaming because DICE won't. So I would encourage you to go over to Ghost Gaming's YouTube page, subscribe over there, check out his videos, leave some likes and comments, go to his Twitch, Ghost Gaming GG on Twitch, search that over there. He goes live over there, streams Battlefield 2042. Support him over there, please do so. And then also uh, back over here, Ghost Gaming G on Twitter. Follow him, uh, stay up to date with everything going on and just show the man some support, send him some encouraging words and uh, thank him for everything he's done for Battlefield, for, for bringing the news in a positive light, uh, leaving constructive criticism to make the franchise better. And uh, in my opinion, the man deserves much better than he's been treated by EA Dice. It's absolutely disgusting. And I probably need to end the video before I get angry and say stuff that I shouldn't. The other thing is, uh, Flackfire even uh, chimed me in on it. And this just, it just sends a bad vibe to the community. The situation with Battlefield's community is extremely disheartening. I don't feel like a creator, dev, or gamer would look at the franchise right now and say, yes, I want to be a part of that. Improvements to be made on all sides. And overall, it's just incredibly disappointing because I had hope for the next Battlefield with uh, with new management coming in with Vince Ampella, Byron B, Marcus Leto, Rebecca Kutaz, uh, uh, David Serlin coming back. Like I was excited. And just the way they're treating the community, if the game is really good and you still treat your community like this if you if you make the ea cre creator network a little click that's manipulated by by the by the community managers where you have to say the exact right thing or you're out of there i don't want to be a part of it i really don't i appreciate you guys watching this video so much uh just shout out to ghost gaming for being a good fucking dude uh you don't deserve this man at all so go support him if you can thank you guys so much for watching and i uh, hope to see you later on